Khan, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, who the Lord calls God, Yahweh, Shah, who the Lord calls Jesus Christ. All right, this is Judah Maya coming with a quick uh, exhortation through the Spirit. Uh, you know, just wanted to really, uh, I'm, in, I'm driving back uh, from the plantation right now through the Spirit, but uh, just wanted to kind of uh, meditate on, you know, and we know, as, as you may know, uh, or if you don't know, uh, it's the Feast of Dedication, right? Started Wednesday at sundown, was the first day. Right. Uh, nevertheless, hey, we just meditating on these righteous days that the Lord give us, because even in the midst of all this evil, the Lord literally is. Hey, we still got uh, goodness that come out of it. Right. Got uh, so-called Thanksgiving that just passed. Right. Got so-called Christmas coming up. So-called fake New Year's coming up with all these uh, vexations that's coming around. The Lord still giving us pleasure in this world. Well, hey, we got the dedication, man. Remember all our forefathers, man. Right, a uh, destroying the heathen, right, and, and commemorating it in righteousness, man. All right, and getting the Lord deliver us from our enemies, man. Right, so a hey, it's a, a joyous and more and uh, we should be immersed in this day, man. Right, a hey, literally uh, eight or seven days in righteousness that we can uh, enjoy and, and uh, feast, man. Right, so now is not the time to be, uh, you know, on that diet, man. Yeah, you know, you don't want to be, you know be a glutton but you know still enjoy yourself man because in this time it is uh through all the folly vexations we got a, a joyous time a part of us man right time to gather with each other right in righteousness right uh eat drink um you know and just enjoy the time in the days in these feast days that the lord give us we, and let us and keep us in remembrance that we don't got to be like uh like the our people in the world man the traditions that we was brought up in the world uh we don't got to keep those because we have our own Biblically, that the, that the Lord gave us in the Bible, man, right? Literally righteous holiday, real holy days, man, right? So, you know, just wanted to kind of, this really was just a uh, rant through the spirit, uh, just because it's in my mind, because uh, it's a joyous time right now, man, right? We literally have a, a whole feast, uh, uh, you know, that the Lord ordained through the spirit, man, right? So, uh, you know, just wanted to, hey, be around our family, uh, hey, get in the Bible, be in Maccabees, first and second Maccabees, hey, seeing how our forefathers were slaying the heathen, right? We got many other, uh, you know, actually they was, you know, destroying us as well, uh, but nevertheless, we always was to overcome them, man, through the spirit, man, because we got the real living uh, power on our side, man. Not these idols as in Buddha and damn uh, Allah, you know, and and all these so-called uh, idols, man. We got the true and living power, man, on our side. So nevertheless, uh, hey, if it be of uh, the Lord who can overthrow it, man. Like the book of Acts, chapter five and verse 29 on down is going to, man. Really 39, so lucky. Hey, if it's of the most high God, you cannot overthrow it, man. So these feast days are all the most high God. You can't overthrow them, man, right? You can kind of sneak Christmas in there with Santa, so-called Santa and you know, hey, my, hey, for one, hey, my child is not finna go sit on no grown man lap, man. And they always eat the mites. And you know how they be, man. You know, hey, so, hey, we want to keep the real hot holy days, man. All right. So all praise to the most high, you know, a righteous uh, a holy day that we ordain. You know, like we always look forward to gathering. Right. You know, um, you know, you get dressed in righteousness. Right, you don't gotta just wear your sackcloth. This ain't the day to wear the sack. It's not the feast day to just wear a sackcloth because you more uh, in mourning. No, man, it's a time to get in this thing, man. You know, uh, you know. So we look forward to these feast days, man. You know, I know myself. I uh, I, I actually look forward to them through the spirit. Just think of all the years, you know, of us celebrating the wicked days. How much more we should be excited for the righteous days, man. Right. So, you know. Um, you know we got Passover coming up. You know we got a uh, Purim coming up. Destruction of Nicanor. We got a lot of other feast days uh, coming up in righteousness, man. So we don't gotta just dwell on uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving and fake New Year's, man. All right? The New Year does not start when everything is dead. According to Exodus, the book. Uh, uh, so like, according to Exodus, the New Year is when everything is alive and green, man. Right? That's what a bib is going into, man. Right? So, nevertheless, um, you know, 
just uh, was a righteous rant through the spirit and, uh, you know, just excited for this feast days. You know, it started already, but, you know, just, you know, all praises, man. So, you know, just, a, uh, you know, another exhortation, really just a rant, just saying hey, all praise to the most high for giving the eight. Letting us know who we are in these last days. Right? We're not niggas. We're not black. Uh, we're not all these different damn bywords and proverbs according to the uh, curses, man. We the Israelites of the Bible, and we're proclaiming our heritage back, and we're keeping the feast days that the Lord gave us in righteousness, man. Right? And if anybody got a problem with it, hey, they got to take it with the most high, man. And you ain't going to win that battle, man. Right? So all praise to the most high God. Yahweh, Shalom.